Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I am going to track Magnus Carlsen. He is competing in this late Title Tuesday Blitz, July 25th, 2023. There's the lineup. And here is his round one opponent. Let's see, 3-1 time control, B3. Okay. Let's see. Some pressure on this guy. Knight f3, trying to provoke this, keeping the diagonal open. Knight here, trying to hunt the dark square bishop. If this knight ever moves, it'd be a serious problem. Some queen g4, maybe. Some problems on this square, so unopposed dark square bishop. What to do? Knight here, I think, is met with push. So first, removing the pawn. This is a jump for both knights. Okay, I don't know if he's... be super upset dealing with the pawn right here, because this queen, I think, is going to fly out very soon. Like right now soon? Okay, first with the knight. Okay, there's two checks. I don't think any of them are good just yet. No queen g4. Bishop has it. Where'd he go with the, with the knight? Develop the queen. Gonna get bothered with knight to e5, maybe. Okay, queen h5 first. So now if this, that's a very weakening move. Probably a losing move after queen h6. So... In some cases, there could be ideas of a check and maybe some check on the G file followed up with mate, but there's a lot that black would have to... Uh, a lot of pieces black would have to get out of position in order for that to happen. Okay. So right now, this... No, this is not a threat. It's covered. How do you get another piece involved? These three are functioning. There are interference moves, yes. Knight right here, interference. Queen takes knight as a threat. Knight f4. There's a restriction on these two. I have to watch over the knight. Knight g6 in some cases could be good. And given time, there's going to be another rook. Okay, knight g6 played. I don't think you want to allow. Knight takes knight. There is two on this. This knight is now pinned. Okay, so I start to think about h4, h5 ideas. Softening up the king side. Can maybe first play f6? f6 first, and then what's happening after f6? Um, probably a queen check. You get the queens off, and this pawn is probably a sore spot liability. So trying to blunt the diagonal. There'd be a queen exchange. Okay, maybe this is nearby now. Okay, serious pressure on the dark squares. We're looking at a sacrifice very soon, I would think. F6 takes, takes, knight takes, might have this. Oh, he's taking with the knight. He wants to keep the bishop around. Okay, is this defendable? Because he got the corner square covered. Okay, uh, he's ready to start pushing pawns now. What else? Here comes the F pawn. If bishop here... I mean, is some caveman-like idea? Okay, here's the caveman idea. Queen cannot take, and if the bishop takes, it's this. This would have been the uh, two-point pawn you're giving up. This one, not so much. This guy's ready to go. No, and there's this pin. Rook takes bishop. Queen takes. There's another piece around watching over g7. The queen is overloaded. Was overloaded. Okay, this pawn moves, and if knight here, there's rook takes bishop. Where does the knight go? Okay, this is winning now. Got to check. Where's the mate? Mate here next. Wow. Very nice. So the knight sacrifice, keeping this unopposed dark square bishop for the win in round one. Round two. Ton of players. In this event, 445. Narditsky, Hikaru, Feruja, Duda. 
Some that you can't see. Whoa, he's having some fun here with h5 against his Grandmaster opponent. Uh, there's also Kramnik, I saw. Sarin is another. Okay. So this actually ends up being purposeful <laughs> at the end of the day. Ties in well with e5. This guy. A push or a capture. This square opens up. This pawn is here to secure a knight on the c5 square. Okay. So how do we play this? This is this is a move to try and exchange dark square bishops. Not even uh, in a spot to recapture with the knight, but there's ideas of a check on h4. Okay. So even here, you could still maybe even pursue a dark square bishop exchange. Knight f6 is a move. I want to be delicate with the queen. Queen e7 is probably going to get hit, get hit with the knight to d5. So knight f6, more development. Knight f6 castles. Keeping the tension. He's okay going uncastled. And this, this, here, that's what he's saying. Okay, what's what's white's play? Knight here runs into a fork, so tension is resolved. We're going to have this uncastled king position. This is guarded. Some pressure here and here. Let's see this end game in action, or really a queenless middle game, call it. Okay, I wonder what the idea is behind that one. Yeah, I guess the idea was to Fienchetto. Okay, then we got this knight jump. A dark square bishop exchanges nearby. Or really a check here. This is a problem already, I think. Got the check bishop here. If the bishop backed off, there was a fork on f f2. So you could play bishop e3. Okay, he's looking for this square now. This is an excellent position for black. And these pieces look very clumsy. Th this guy right here. This guy, this guy. They're not playing. He's on the edge, but this is this is still a very good piece. It's watching over c7. So a light square bishop exchange nearby. Could definitely get the dark square bishop. We're going to have opposite color bishop position now. Taking here first. Yeah, because in incoming there's bishop g2. Actually, I was thinking bishop g2 is winning this pawn. That is defended. Where's this guy go? It's the first question. Cannot be defended with a rook. Got that square covered. These guys are just knifing in. So now this is a square two for the knight to enter. May want to take time out to play c6 first, but white's on move. Bishop d2. Avoiding the bishop exchange. I think he's saying if you go here, I'm going to Go somewhere else. We're not just going to continue dancing. No threefold repetition. <laughs> uh, similar bishops. Okay. Try to get one rook off. This guy isn't doing anything. Do you care about that? You don't even care about that. You got all the important squares covered. Is there some concern about this, this kind of battery? Okay, this knight is offset. Both knights are under control, notice. They're a non-factor. Negated by pawns. You could always maybe even play this if this pressure becomes too much. Really down on the clock, Team White. And what's it going to be? Tough to find a way to improve. to do. I mean, this, is there, there might be a connection issue. Knight c5, bishop g2. Oh, wow. Okay. So those moves came in, in a blink and we are, we do get this. And yeah, the rook is hit pressure on e4. This is collapsing now. Time and position, not on white side. 
Knight takes e4. Yeah. Killer, killer bees. Knight is now pinned. Bishop here. Okay. Uh, we got bishop check incoming. We're going to have a resigner. This rook is hanging. Yeah. You don't even get an exchange. Yeah, we're going to have a resigner or a loss on time, loss on time. Either way. Okay, round two. In the books. Round three. Caden Trough. Opponent. Still a ton of players with two out of two. Grushuk is another one in the game. Oh, Carlson's getting hit with h5. <laughs> it's a little bit more purposeful. Move one when b3 is played. You are hinting at this tension. The knight is there in time to stop it, though. Okay, double fiend keto. Let's see. All right. Increased pressure here. Can't take with the knight. That guy's going to fall. Okay, so now prep work for knight takes. And the queen will patrol the dark squares. Committal move. F5. Okay, push. Changing the structure, huh? Okay, taking with the pawn on D. So I'm thinking queenside castles at some point. Do you connect knights here? Do you play this? Connect knights like to get queenside castles in. Okay. Forget about that. It's kingside castles. This is how white's going to activate. Simple enough. A lot of pieces still. Just a pawn exchange. Where are their holes? Right here. How to take advantage of them. I'm not seeing it. Slow improvements. Maybe g4 cutting out a knight maneuver. G4 to E5, possibly. And this square is up for grabs, so it's cut out immediately. Ah, okay, so it's coming together now. Queen on this square. The knight from B6 supporting this advance, so... I wonder if you flick in this move, preparing to meet this with backing off. I don't think you want to take. You give up this square, your queenside pawns are shattered, pushing. Pushing is the way. Okay, so there's tricks, apparently. Queen takes pawn, knight here. Discovered attack. Okay, knight takes. You don't have to worry about yeah, this move. This is actually covered twice. It's got some space. Where's this knight going? Yeah. Pressure on the knight. And maybe after knight a6, b4. Sort of sidelining this piece. What do you do? If you go here, the big weakness is knight f4 into d5. This is hit twice. Here is hit with the fork. Hmm. Glue it in with f4. But then you take away the knight square. I think this knight would like to pivot here. Okay, driving the knight away first. Oh, okay, maybe he's still gonna go with this idea? No, it's a problem here. Okay, he has softened up the d5 square with this idea. a3 kicks the knight away from defending d5, and this knight wants to pounce. So bishop takes, knight right here, the queen is restricted. There should be some, some trick nearby. Let's see. And taking here, queen here. Okay, he's covering this square. He's willing to take on double isolated pawns, and now this guy might be a dead piece. Okay, he's just defending it with the, the queen. Still a, a big problem here. Track this guy down immediately. Yeah, he's, he's going to key in now on these light squares. And this position is under control. I wonder if a rook here and after rook takes, rook maybe queen takes, this would indirectly defend the pawn because there's a check and the rook would fall. Although I guess on the check there's bishop to e1. Can't take here straight away. 
Although you could also go rook takes rook. If queen takes, this would fall. Okay. No, no fancy queen recapture. This knight is on the edge. Both minor pieces are struggling for black. Maybe queen stepping up. Stopping this. If knight here, he's going to invest a move with f4. I'm guessing. Yeah. The structure is killing multiple pieces. Okay. Not sure where he's going next. This is more about opening up the rook's eyes. Has some activity. He could try to offset it immediately. Rook b1. Pair of rooks coming off. Put the a light square bishop here. Bishop here covers a lot of squares here. Rook is currently hit. Doesn't have really a whole lot of choices in the, in the back rank. These guys are covering a lot of ground. Okay. Queen exchange. This is collapsing under 20 seconds as well. B6 pawn is going to fall. The check shouldn't be anything. He's picking up b6. Oh, that was not part of the plan, though. That hurts. Okay, how is he going to try and stir up trouble? This, this move, maybe? No. What is that move? Not part of the plan. So now it's about holding a draw. He missed this. I miss this as well. <laughs> okay. He's going to try and run with this guy. The rook should try to get behind. Okay. It's still a problem for this guy. I mean, he <laughs> actually, <laughs> he could still win this. What am I talking about? A draw? Because this guy is not playing. The structure is killing the dark square bishop. He may still win this. He may still win this. Yeah, improving the king. I mean, bringing the king over here is a thing. You could break down this a little bit. But this could, this could be supported. Okay, he's going after this point. Knight here. Rook takes pawn. And now there's a path for the king. Flying up here. Time. Under 10 seconds. Two on this now. You take here, and you know, he's going to find a way out. So there is, a, in a way, a bit of a drawback in, in taking this pawn. You do allow this bishop to exit along this diagonal. Okay. It's getting a, a passer now over here. The attention turning towards the king's side. Also, the attention turning towards the clock. A rat race. Bishop's hit. This is hit. Uh-oh. Going on the attack. Uh, I thought maybe a bishop move. So now two pawns versus the knight at the end. Keep going. Now if you push right away, there would have been a check. Under 10 seconds. Black has very good coordination. Knight here and rook here. He's in a spot to give checks. King up. King on this square. Push first. Keep pushing. Okay, he wants to get here, maybe. Pinning the knight. Taking the knight. Yeah. I think just some back and forth here. He's going for it. This this is falling with check. Take. Okay, check. Uh, rook and pawn ending. Or rook versus rook ending. Oh. A draw in the end. So, yeah, that was a really big miss. Taking on b6. Queens are off. He gets the piece there. All right, that is now two and a half out of three. Round number four. Got a late start here. A weird start. Magnus is just having a little fun now with these wild rook pawns. Maybe a bit on... Uh... Okay, we're up to speed here. <laughs> this round four. Um, bit of tilt. Maybe from that last game. A lot of pawn moves, and with it, a lot of weaknesses. Got some gaps on the light squares, mostly. He's controlling this knight with 97. 
There is a deficiency here on the queen side for white, though. A couple holes in white's position. He's going for space. Okay, he's really exaggerating the point of having pawns on dark when you only have a light square bishop. They are coordinated. This could be an idea. One point to watch over, f6. It's got that covered, needs some more support. Queen is now there. Knight is eyeing up this square. It's not a hole. Okay. It's taking out the knight. So this guy... Probably going to go here at some point. You really can't stop that. Landing the check. King of seven. Locked position. How to make progress exactly. It's not going to be easy. Okay, he's first trying to get the queens off. I mean, what, what if it's completely shut down? And queen, like if white exchanges queens and even plays this move, giving up this square. Okay. Because this, this guy right here is very strong. Stops pawn breaks. Maybe, maybe this is an idea. Here with the push. I mean, you could push now. He's pushing in this way, and he's getting a passer. Okay, there's also fancy moves with this. There's pawn takes. I think that's the idea. And on rook takes rook, he flicks in an in-betweener, taking an F2 with check. Okay, he's going in that direction. Now, isn't this guy going to fall, though? So there's a pin on the H-pawn. Okay, he's now up a pawn. This should be winning. Yeah, this is... This should be winning. He's going to have the passer. He has squares to work with. Take with the pawn or the rook. Maybe get one rook off. One rook off. Next he'll be taking with the pawn. There we go. This guy's going to have to play defense. And this knight, where do you go? Uh, let's see. You could push, maybe even take and then make use of this square. Try to go into Pac-Man mode in a rook ending, give up the the passed pawn. I think maybe that's the that's an approach. He's given this one a think. First push. Okay. So this square first. Okay, he's going with the check first. And now taking. Oh, look at that move order. <laughs> That's the move order. Doesn't have to react to this threat. Okay. So I guess the best try is to allow that, this sequence. Otherwise, this, this rook is going to be vacuuming up all these pawns. Or the knight's going to be jumping in here. Like, what do you do on this capture here? What do you do with the bishop? Okay, these guys are all going to be rounded up. I guess he wants this guy, or even this, maneuver. Yeah, this is a powerhouse a knight. Completely winning position. There's only one base point to watch over. And this guy's a long ways away from getting to it. Next up, knight takes bishop, rook takes pawn. Plenty of ways to do it from here. That was a cool sequence. Very nice. Tactics. Take this guy. Guard with the pawn and then go after this point. This guy has to go into defensive mode. Might have a resigner here. Okay, now he's just going to win this pawn. There's no counterplay whatsoever. Put the king here, rook here, and start pushing these two. Okay, resigner. Three and a half. Out of four. Round five. And Carlson is sticking with wild rook pawn advances. 16 players still running perfect. Okay, Billy Kimba is the opponent. Let's see. Okay, French structure, advanced French. This once again is, in a way, turning out to be a bit purposeful. Black will be looking to play on the 
queenside. I think he wants to see this guy move before playing bishop a6. It's the desirable exchange. Bad for good. This guy could go a step further as well. White looking to hop into the hole. Okay. So this is plugged up. Knight there just in time. He cannot allow knight d6, so... I like white's position. This is a serious weakness. b5 square. This is a clumsy piece. Currently no moves for this guy. Okay, he is opening up a square. So, with this, white strengthens his control over b5, but also gives up b4. Okay, this guy's challenged. Alright, three times it's hit. He's going to take with the rook. And how does he do it? He's going to be preparing to double rooks eventually. Okay. How do you play this? Both of these knights only have this one square. Maybe put them on these two. Okay, white's looking at this. He's got a cool square over here on b7. If, you, if this rook was already here, I think the convenient way to defend is to bring the bishop back to f8. This is a little uncomfortable for the rook. Healthy moves. Rook c8. Maybe the knight repositioning like this to kick this rook away. Yeah. Opens up a square for this knight. Strategic play from here. Doesn't want to see knight f5. These guys offset. These guys are at a standstill. Getting to a safer square, castling by hand, call it. Okay, queen there is doing what exactly? Not sure what the point of that is. Okay, on rook takes rook, you have to take with the bishop. Otherwise, this falls. Okay. Knight is in play, and how do you play from here? I'm not seeing any great pawn breaks. I mean, is this? No. I mean, on this, there's takes, and then isn't this falling? Okay, he's prepared to take with the knight. What's happening here? He's okay giving this up. Knight takes e6, and his plan is what? To keep pushing. Oh, knight takes this, and after the knight moves, knight f5 hits the rook and hits the knight. Oh, <laughs> Fancy, fancy. Okay. He's still just going to allow this. So what's the story? First g5. Gonna have a peace sacrifice here. Three pawns for the minor. Black has good coordination. Is there something better here? Maybe he's thinking about attacking the knight and then landing a fork. Okay, so we're going to have this. Three pawns versus the minor. Probably want a knight here. Do you maneuver for that right now? This would invite the bishop. In this square, okay, he's going for that. Bishop is hit. Pressure remains on this point. This is a very good piece. Restricting the queen. Okay. Take with the bishop? Does hit the knight. You take with the bishop and then kind of offset the knight with bishop, at, bishop to f8, or even this, knight f5, and some active play with the queen. How to recapture? Going with the knight. Doesn't want to see this guy jump. And now queen improvement somewhere. Queen g5. Queen h7. Got to watch out for the check. It's covering that. Good coordination. Bishop guards the knight. Knight guards the pawn. Knight is under control, but these guys, if they start to get rolling, it could be very scary. So, a queen exchange, I think, may be helping white. Let's see. Time situation under... A minute for white. These are covered. This is not going to be easy to convert. 
Okay, okay, he's approaching it like this. Isn't this going to be another pawn, though? Okay, so the idea of this, this, if you go after this pawn, I'm going to go after this pawn. I think his idea was knight c6. Very active queen now. Yeah, I almost feel like you have to try something like this to activate the king. b5 takes, king b6, king b5. Because this is all glued together. Okay, king there first. Oh, stopping queen e8, I guess. Queen is hit. This is scary. Here, feels like there's some fancy check that could be around the corner. Uh, the push with some knight here. Not seeing it. Going back after this, the king may end up having to hide over here to duck perpetuals. You could get the queens off, but that's going to cost a pawn, so not a good idea to go for the queen exchange. Okay, g5, what a move. So now this is opening up. King has to be very careful. Check first. This is, this is under control, though. Where do you go exactly with the king? Stepping up, maintaining pressure on this point. Knight takes pawn available? Knight takes pawn, you're on this. There's one check here. There's a discovered check, possibly. Let's look at the checks. Let's look at the clock. The knight is hit twice. Not seeing any fancy mates. What a game. Is he gonna get he's gonna move? Okay, check. Yeah, I'm not seeing any perpetual. The king could fly. This is hit in the end. The knight gives a check, but this is hit. How do you defend it? Another check. The king's gonna hide. Can't get at the king. Look at him. This is hitting. This is hitting. Gotta give up the queen. Gonna have that next. Whoops. A resigner, or actually a loss on time. Queen takes knight, pretty much have to play. Otherwise, that would have been mate. Wow, one slippery king in this game. <laughs> okay, that puts him at four and a half out of five. Round six, seven players on perfect. Are we going to get serious play by Carlson in this game? Or more wild rook pawns. Let's see, his clock is ticking. Another GM opponent. Okay. Some move, any move, okay. Regular chess, at least on move one, e4. Oh! King's Gambit. Alright. Should be exciting. What's happening here? And black is in the tank. What do you do? Develop a knight. Knight c6, knight f6, d5 with knight f6, d6. Okay, so no, no d5 to worry about. White takes the space. He's on f4. I don't think could really allow a white to simply recapture conveniently like this. You have to try and hang on to the pawn. Check might be in the air. It's not a really a big inconvenience. White will get a tempo back. The knight f3. Eventually he could castle by hand. Wow. Already a minute spent. Okay, he's going for the check. White will be getting knight f3 in there. Knight c3 into d5 is also a thing. Okay. Maintain the tension. Okay, get it. Get, oh, this is hitting with check. Oh, he missed that. It's falling with check. Ooh. Ooh. Um, that stings, man. That definitely. Wow. That's been a while since I seen a blunder. Like that. Ooh. By Magnus. Um, I see plenty of those in my own games. <laughs> but uh, coming from Magnus. Oh, yeah. That is 
it's an unusual it's an unusual move right bishop c4 normally isn't landing with check because the king is on this square could he somehow fight back this would be really really impressive if he could win this down a piece oh man that's rough <laughs> okay got to get one of these back not ideal being down that light square bishop I think if he could do it again, he would maybe fall back here. All right. Can he keep it somewhat closed? I don't know. This knight needs to improve as soon as possible, I would think. Or maybe queen up, rookie one. Okay, the knight is improving. He's going to have to really play on the clock, too. Find a way to complicate, put pressure on black because a lot of time was spent okay so defending d4 c3 he still has the center but it's going to be hit it's going to be hit further knight f6 queenside castles this pawn is in a pin queenside castles it is yeah this is this is happening something Knight h6, f5, just opening up the position. The king can't go here, keep in mind. This would fall. Tall task ahead, though. Black is under a minute. And with this time control, you almost have to play it like it's sudden death. 3-1 is a lot different than 3-2. That, that extra second really goes a long way. He is holding the center. I'm not so sure about this move because you don't have to worry about this break to influence the the ideal pawn center. And this guy could move again, and this is going to have some pressure on it. But actually, as soon as this knight moves, then this is going to be there. This is... Oh, he's giving the piece back. Ah, so he's he has this in mind, a check in here. You have to take with this guy. Hmm. He's giving the piece back and breaking down the position. The king has to go over here. That would have been mate after king h2. Under 20 seconds, though. Under 20. Okay. Queen there. He has to go back and defend clock i mean this could easily be a loss on time find a way to mix it up king here the knight there keep the knights on how do you keep things complicated maybe that's the try king up here can't move the knight there's going to be a skewer minute 17 for carlson king f2 gotta go fast gotta work on this clock Three, two, one. Is there a connection issue? Is he going to get this? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, he won that game. <laughs> wow. I think there, I don't know. There must have been a connection issue. How do you win that? Wow. Okay, well, you could blunder a piece with check. And it's still not enough. <laughs> okay, that puts him at... Uh, five and a half out of six. What a comeback. Round seven. Duda is the opponent. Three perfects. Six out of six. Carlson has one of them. Okay. Wow. Okay, still, even against Polish fighter Duda, it is a five. <laughs> Okay, this knight has a square. Okay. That's, the bishop also has a square, so... Who really benefits with the both of these in there? I just feel like black has, is the one who benefits. Now we could have something similar, like in the, the game where his king ended up running all the way up here in the final position. Um, something similar in that if you get this pawn break in, this is a hole. 
So he might try to play it like this, not give up any squares. First b6. Okay, he's taking the knight. He doesn't want to see what exactly. He doesn't want to see some idea of this in bad for good bishop exchange. Okay, now he's going to try and play on this square. You would almost like to... Okay, I think you play here. Um, I was going to say you would almost like to have this guy back here with this being a hole so that you have ideas to put a knight on a5 where it observes the c4 square. So what other move is he considering? He's trying to go on castled or... Okay, he's blocking like that. Interesting. I would think this move has to be played at some point anyhow. He's not playing it though, why not? Okay, I think he's maybe saying he doesn't want this to be sensitive and he's planning on queenside castles. I wonder if this is an idea. The bishop on, okay, he's going for this. I was thinking queen here to a7 and then bishop there. So this is faster. Okay, and how to babysit this? Rook, don't want a castle, I don't believe. You could, but I think he's trying to play on the queen side. Okay, another rook pawn advance, but purposeful here, stopping this space invader pawn, and I think he's ready to glue this knight in next, but man, is that weakening. Yeah, no, I don't know if you want to play this because you weaken these dark squares. Maybe he needs to be in a position to recapture with this pawn or like knight here have the queen support f5 okay he's giving up some material so he's okay giving up a pawn he's playing on the light squares he's okay with an ending yeah so that's what we have white has this majority it's not easy to get it going though have to defend here is the bishop the convenient defender it seems like it i don't know how you challenge the bishop on c4 one of these two i would think to defend the pawn cannot allow that one to fall bishop c4 it is now there are these ideas where this guy could become passed in many many cases b5 by force pushes through what's this guy going to do he could be irritating on g5 or even a3 Opposite color bishop ending, I guess, is likely. In knight f4. Could still go in this direction. This bishop is a fantastic piece. And there really isn't any progress for white on the queen side. How do you challenge this piece? If the knight even gets to this square, there isn't a good jump. So what's black going to look to do? Play on the queen side, maybe some healthy moves first. Hiding the king over here. Seems like a way. In fact, having the king here, is it okay to... Maybe you don't even need to stop the knight from going here. I almost feel like you want to put the king here. And then in queen list positions, you could go for this break and get this going. The more it simplifies, the more this idea of b5 becomes a thing. Okay, maybe swipe the knight here. No. Okay, babysit the pawn so that your queen could come over here, reinforce the bishop. Or do you want to take the knight? I'm not really a big fan of taking the knight. He's taking the knight and taking both minor pieces. So he's going to try for this break. Okay, I was thinking some maneuver like this. A rook on c4 would be nice. It takes a while. But once it's there, it's a best piece hitting a4 and c3. 45 seconds for Duda. This game is flying by. Still, this idea is in the air. Queen's on, though. Okay, queen exchange declined. It's a very active piece, this queen. Okay, improve the king. Now he's stopping this straight away. He's keeping pressure on g5. Improve the king now. Improve the king now. Queen here before this. Although on... Okay, okay. 
this would fall if queen takes a so now he's back on this rook is there defending he's back on this queen takes a4 queen has pressure on this as well can't play here this would fall this rook is well i don't know how fantastic the rooks are in this position queen exchange who is benefiting i think white would be benefiting if you take here then there's a new pawn break he's giving that pawn a shove don't go too far queen she has a restriction now maybe this here get these pawns going scary scary position for the white king time is he gonna move oh okay there was just a delay there no loss on time wow that was that was scary a lot of shuffling a lot of shuffling where is there a pawn break for black this is the only break really this one i don't think you could do it with this rook on e3 queen trying to sneak in queen f5 hits this point also on that he's he's trying for this maneuver here it is to babysit this first trying for a queen exchange if you do that it costs a pawn it's going to cost a pawn time 2.9 for duda king improvement at the end what a tough move to deal with it's on c2 2.1 he's on a4 oh rook takes rook uh queen takes with check the rook and block. You gotta get out of here. No. Counterattack. Oh, what a move. How do you find that move? Where did that come from? Is he pushing through, though? Uh, he's pushing through. Takes this. Oh, this pawn's falling. Isolated pawns. You gotta play here. What a game. This should be winning for white, I think. I don't know. These these aren't fast enough, are they? You got to go here. The king coming over. Yeah, he's going to win the, the race, is my sense here. Not fast enough. Yeah, and that's falling with check. Although, 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 a misstep right there. That was a misstep. This might be winning now for black. He's got the queen. Check. Not going to be easy this game. He's on the rook. Is he going to see it? He sees it. He has to buy himself time. He's stopping the check again. This game continues. What a game. Unbelievable. Where is the trick? He's covering the checks. No skewers. How do you break this down? Not easy. Not at all easy. Is this a fortress? It's almost mate. Oh, the king is kicked out. Oh. <laughs> and in the end, it's a win on time. Unbelievable. That was an unbelievable game. I got to go back to that one position. How do you spot this move? this move right here looks like your toast your queen is hit this this rook is ready to fall with check but no rook takes d4 if you take here your queen falls what a move oh man and what an ending there was a misstep there with rook going to the a8 square i think I think here, I'm not sure how that's working out, but yeah, the tempos. Who's winning? Rook there, king here, king over, push, push, push. Yeah, it's going to be close. I think both sides would end up queening there. What a game. Six and a half out of seven now. Round eight. MVL is the only perfect carlson's gonna want to get him back the last time i comment uh commentated titled tuesday 
This was Carlson's first defeat against MVL. Let's see. The shark. Lion beast. Going for a quick mate. Okay. Getting this pawn back right away. Or playing it in gambit style. Gambit style, F3 on board. Okay. Kingside castles or queenside castles for white? First things first, what's happening here? I mean, is this an idea? Saw that with, uh, I believe, his game against Caden, Caden Trough. He's going after the light square bishop. Also, this is an idea. Very irritating. A5 right now? It's happening after A5. So if you give a square for the bishop, that's when he's picked off and you're not in the spot to recapture. So castles first, but I think this is still maybe in the air. So if D3, I think A5. You have to go with the D4. Maybe first d3 and after a5, d4? I'm going to find out. This is serious. I mean, what about a5, d4, a4? Okay. Okay, so this is a defensive move. He didn't want to see this idea. Bishop h6 with knight g5, that construction, looking for some mating ideas. Cutting out this square, h3 is. Also, what am I talking about d4? There's bishop to e3 to put pressure on the knight if this is an idea. Slight time advantage for white. Very healthy structure, very good knights. Bishop g5 could be a move. This also could maybe in some lines backfire on black. I mean... This, I, initially I saw it as a defensive move, but it may be an aggressive move. G4, to try and peel open the H-file. This is maybe a reason to hang a left. Keep this rook here, so that this is still an idea. This pawn is pinned. This guy right here is unprotected. This is a lot of time to be spending. A minute 26 for MVL. There's probably tricks if you go ahead and take this pawn. It is stabilizing the knight. It is weakening this diagonal. But I think at any moment, Black is saying, I could just get rid of this guy. Kingside castles it is. Forget about g4. Or maybe not. Okay, so bishop bishop g5, yeah. I think this is more about peace play from here. There's still ways to improve. Black is out of the pin. Knight h5 could be an idea. No, it can't because you're hit with this one. Bishop e7. Tough position for black. Knight maneuver. Knight on c4. Queen on f2. A knight move is threatening this. Okay. This is hit a lot. Dark square problems. Very healthy structure. This guy is under control. Try and work into these squares. Knight a4 into b6. Bishop's probably going to be planted on this square soon. Okay, working on these dark squares. Bishop e6 it is. Knight here. Rook d8. Yeah, if this rook was already here, uh, bishop to c8 would have, been the, would have been the convenient way to defend. So he's okay giving up the light square bishop. We're going to have, I believe, good versus bad bishop position very soon. Do you take the knight? Yeah. Or the, take the bishop before he falls back to f7. Clock advantage is still there. Queen, pressure on the light squares. G6, knight f8, king here, scary, going into a pin. More pressure right around the corner with knight h4. At any point, there could be some break in the center. This king is not as safe as this one. Cozy home here. This is a hole. Can you get a knight to d5? First, doubling rooks. Takes a while to get a knight here. I'm not sure how you do that. Even. Maybe you have to open up this square. Okay. He's going for g4. g4 it is. 
Stop knight g6, queen h5, queen f7, this knight. You know, these, these rooks could be offset if a knight could get here. Yeah, but then again, bishop takes knight and you're playing a knight versus bishop position. This is a struggling piece. It continues to be a struggling piece. How to maneuver the knight. Get the knight on g3. I think this is optimal. But it takes quite a while. Maybe king up first. King up, knight back home, knight e2, knight g3, knight f5. And I think white should just be winning. What's the plan? He's thinking about some maneuver. Still in the tank. Rook h2 it is. Not threatening any mate. Knight on f8, no mate. Duck the queen exchange. Duck the queen exchange. Knight g6. Check. Is there a good follow-up? You have to watch out for sacrifices as well. Is this working? Bishop or knight takes? I'm not seeing it working, so he's maneuvering the knight. Where to exactly? This guy is very active. Ah, he's going back home here. Queen knight's home. Do you give up this pawn? Play here first. Save this. And then knight c3 hits with tempo. c4 it is. One rook coming off. This is white's square for sure. Knight on d5. Queen f5 first before she's cut off with the knight here. Maybe you could get away with working around the knight. Okay, not if he's here. Queen goes back, defending a base point. Do you hop in straight away? Yeah, there's this trade-off. The knight, I think, is going to jump in here. Okay, queen back. Try it again. Queen f5, clock situation. Okay, this is serious. Take with the bishop or land the check first. Is there a good follow-up here? Queen f5. He's okay giving this pawn up. Exchange knights first and then take on this square and then activate on the queen side. Do you want to babysit this point? No. He doesn't care about losing this pawn. He doesn't want to give this... Uh, he doesn't want to open up this square, expose his pawns to attack. He's saying that these two restrict these. Now he's working with the light squares. He's down a pawn, but a very active king. Look at this play. Bishop can't go too far. Bishop takes pawn might be a move. Black's up a pawn, but it's very passive. How do you break things down? Okay. Oh, he wants that square. Oh! Oh, is this really a thing? Is this really a thing? No. It's not there. Wow. I think this is a draw or... Because you can't go too far. This one's going to fall. Is he going to be stuck soon? He's going to be stuck soon. He's going to have to give up a pawn. Here, this, you have to push and then bishop takes pawn. Wow. He's taking it. Black won. Whoa. What a game. He really went for it in that ending. Giving up the pawns. That d3 pawn not swiping the knight. Okay, MVL takes him down again. So that puts him at 6.5 out of 8. Round 9. Dimitri. Okay, interesting start here. Quick f5. Okay, 2 to 1 in the center. Quick pressure on c6. Defended nearby bishop f4. If there's a check, there's knight c3 to save the bishop. Okay. And you can't take this either. Check. Knight c3 taking here is a blunder. The knight is pinned. Okay. Queenside castles gets hit with knight f7. I like white. Strong knight. Backward pawn. Okay, he's safeguarding c6. This queen's going to have to find a new square very soon, I think. After bishop f4. 
Knight g6 would be a threat. Where is the queen going exactly after bishop to f4? What other move is white considering here? Pressure on the center? Simple development? Simple development. Ask the bishop a question first. You still can't queenside castle. Knight f7. So this guy needs to be removed before you make any progress. Get rid of this guy. If white has to recapture with the pawn, I start to like uh, team black, but that's not allowed. Knight takes knight, the bishop will be recapturing. I think he's still playing that way. Get rid of the knight first and then find a new square for the queen. Maybe queen c6. Do have an unopposed light square bishop that is a pretty good defender here of e6, this backward pawn. Uh, knight takes knight, bishop takes queen c6, does pin the knight. Queen is coordinating with the bishop. And then maybe bishop to d6. Oh, queen b4. Interesting. So now there are these two points. So he's saying he doesn't mind the doubled pawns. He could maybe undouble. Yeah, he's saying he doesn't care about losing this pawn either. Bishop takes pawn, queen takes. Is on the knight and the pawn. It's the two-point pawn up for grabs. Bishop here. If bishop takes, there would be the recapture with the pawn to watch over this weakened e5 square. It's no longer a pivot for a knight or a rook. Let's see. Queen all the way back, all the way back. I'm starting to like black a real lot. This knight still needs a lot of work. Black just sits here, I think. I mean, do you want to weaken your dark squares? Then, then there's ideas of your bishop running out of squares if you go with this move. Do you move the king? Just back off? I mean, it's not the end of the world if even if this falls, I don't think. Check queen here. I mean, he's not going to want to draw. Bishop f5, that would fall. Okay, so you have to take some care now over your bishop. g4, the queen is not allowing h5, so I'm concerned about these ideas here. To try and get the queens off. Although this is hit right now. This could definitely fall. Not so easy to track this guy down bishop there strong move hitting the rook you have to you pretty much have to take that guy no oh fancy what if the queen falls back here oh man okay that's not a threat this move to secure the bishop it's in a pin bishop takes bishop first and then queen d6 Okay, can you get the queens off? This would be a very good structure. This would be a fantastic ending. Have to avoid the queen exchange. This is not seen by black. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Down for the count, this bishop. Bishop here, short-lived, f3. He's got to stir up some trouble. Is he getting out of this? That is actually a move, isn't it? Okay, what about takes, takes, queen, f3? There's still this problem. He was ready to meet this with pawn takes, the queen was hit, the knight was hit. All right, is he going to be able to stir up trouble again? Like in the King's Gambit game? I'm not seeing it. Of course, I wasn't seeing it in the other game either, but... Hmm... Not enough pieces around to stir up trouble, I don't think. Okay, don't go to the G file. That's one thing. Well, don't get don't get mated either. Queen F3, Rook G5. Actually, it's a mate in two threat. <laughs> or mate in three, but same idea. Okay, there is a check. Careful about H2. Careful about H2. How do you defend... Okay, rook there first. That was looking pretty strong as well. Queen d2. Now, now there's a rook block if queen d2. Okay, targeting this guy. This knight 
is under control for the moment, but now there's a restriction. It's an important defender of d5. Queen's coming off, not quite. Rook is covering this square. Clock situation, both 30 seconds, call it. Ah, uh, how do you stir up trouble? I'm not seeing it still. Maybe a break. This pawn is pinned. This pawn is pinned. This is not a threat. Maybe this is the idea. To support this point, the knight is pinned to c2. Clock situation under 15. Watch over this pawn, queen. Uh, watch over the pawn and then this one. Okay. Queen back here? Knight's going to be very jumpy. He wants to watch over this e6 square. Very sensitive. Queen wants to get on this diagonal. Some check. Probably want to get rid of this knight very soon. On the check, you're going back. Under 10 seconds. Living off the increment. Got to keep the queens on a check. Taking here. Perpetual. There is a perpetual, but I think at this stage, black is definitely okay with that. <laughs> Being down the piece. Oh... What do we do here? Have to watch over this square. Knight and queen is all that's needed. To weave a mate. Two seconds. Mate over here. Mate threat. King has a square after pawn takes. No way. Time. This is falling. Queen takes with check. Okay, and consolidation. This knight is covering everything. This game continues, though. Check. Trying to drive the knight away. Another push. Checks over here. Oh, my goodness. Can't take with the queen. He somehow has managed a passed pawn over here. Another check. Another check. Is he going to get running? There's no check here. Still continues to check. He's running now. Running again. Rook here. That knight covers so many checks. Is he getting... No, he's not getting that. Rook. Had a pawn block there. Why is this game still going? Now he's getting the rook. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Perpetual in the end. King here, no checks. Oh my goodness. He's winning this. Queens are perfect. Holy smokes. What kind of magic is that? That is unreal. Game continues, but I, I just, I'm not seeing the perpetual. Eventually there's going to be a queen block. And he's, he's using this pawn against the queen. She can't make use of this square resignation in the end. There are some unreal games in this title Tuesday, let me tell you. By Magnus Carlson, I was just ready to say the doctor. Wow. Wow, how do you win that? Okay, you got to beat the guy twice to get the win. Unbelievable. Okay, that puts him at 7.5 out of 9. Round 10, Daniel Darda. Okay, what do we have in store in for round 10? Let's see. E4. Okay, normal chess, Sicilian, maybe closed Sicilian, f4, f4. That's one of the differences between knight c3 and knight f3. Still keeping open the option for a duo. There we go. This is a square for the bishop to fall back to. He has his eye on f7 for sure. Watches the center. We're going to have... Some maneuver with the queen on h4. First, withdrawing the bishop. Here we go. Grand Prix. 
like attack. Queen h4, f5. Black continues to push. I think maybe you jump in. No, he's first taking. This is now an isolated pawn. Probably don't want to give up this guy. Interesting move. Very interesting move. So if you play here, you're subjecting yourself maybe to some tricks. Possibly. Bishop a little bit vulnerable there. So he has this idea to push in the center. Push this guy away. Watches over d3. And now this alpha zero pawn is in there. And further strengthened. Okay. g4, f5 ideas. Or you could still play within the structure, possibly. Bishop on h4. He's taking on c5. Saying, show me how you're getting the pawn back. This guy is pinned. b2 is hit. How are you defending both? Queen d2 defends b2. Don't think he could afford to give up b2. Queen d2 it is. Knight doesn't have a great... Well, actually, this retreat is pretty good. Opens up this square. Uh, opens up the, the rook's eyes, I should say. A lot of pieces could jump here. Rook needs to get out of this pin at some point. Maybe rook f2 at some point. How do you approach this? Well, actually, if this knight goes too far, rook takes pawn can be a move. This seems healthy. Rook f2. Rook f2 played. Now, the second rank knight, the one who is just unpinned, hops in. So, very jumpy knight, this guy here, trying to soften up the king's side. Let's see how far this pawn will get. Game of inches. I think I like this here for white. A lot of pieces on board. Very strong pawn. Queen still on board. Some ideas of a sacrifice could be nearby. Okay. A little unopposed light square bishop. Has a fantastic square on d3. Can you work around it? We're going to find out. Is the g pawn going to get invited? Into the party? No. Okay, he has the important points covered. B2, the main one. This is secure. What's this guy doing? Wonder. Okay, he has two pieces on this. There was a possible sacrifice. The rook is defending against any of those tricks. Queen over here, yes. Possibly h6. And then there's ideas of back rank mates. Okay, this guy is hit twice. Here can be met with bishop to b1 or bishop to c4. Is this collapsing? If you play here, this falls. Maybe the bishop has to come back. I think he has to come back. Um, is he going to consider this one? Can you afford to give up the b2 pawn? Maybe he's taking the a pawn. Mm, if b2 falls, then this is next up. Tricky. Approaching a minute left. What's he going to come up with? I mean, this guy could get going too, is the other thing. Bishop c1, maybe just start pushing this pawn. So you could get a b2. Okay. Guess we're going to have this, maybe? e3, bishop takes pawn, rook takes b2. Anybody's guess what's happening there. Very sharp. Or maybe this one, rook f3. The queen is there watching over the e1 square. Rook f3 was his, his idea. That's what he was thinking about, I guess, before bishop to c1. So this is how he's rounding up the pawn. This is not a threat. You take the bishop. You're covering that square both. I mean, I almost feel like you have to maybe try this sacrifice on b2 here. Otherwise, this is conveniently scooped up. He is trying this. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes. She's hitting the rook. Okay, we're hitting the rook. c3. The position is collapsing here on the queen side. Queen has to say, enough. I'm not looking to attack the king. I need to play some defense. Rook takes pawn. There's going to be mate with queen. Takes g2. 
So where do you go? Rook g3? Or maybe, yeah, okay, you can't go here. You lose the rook with check. You already lost a piece in the king's gambit game with check. <laughs> Bishop takes c4 with check. Fancy move, deflecting the queen from the rook. Is that actually successful? Okay, he is releasing the pressure on g2. What a fancy move. Rook takes, or uh, rook a2. Didn't take anything. Okay. Oh, a check. It's going to have to give up a knight. Oh, okay. Queen takes pawn. Ah, queen takes pawn. There's bishop takes pawn. He's going to get the exchange back. I think black is winning. Or is he? Or is he? Knight to e2. Hits the queen, defends the rook as well, because queen h4 is ready to kick the king away from defending the rook. I don't think the checks are getting him anywhere. Queen takes pawn or not? Is he going to move? Queens are in tension. Queen takes pawn. There's a lot of pawns here for black. Should be winning for black. Yeah, what is that? Four pawns? And the minor for the rook? Yikes. Okay, dark square problems. There's a problem here. He's going down for the count. Down for the count on time, but also position here. What a game. Very nice play. All right, that puts him, well, keeps him right where he's at. Seven and a half out of ten. One more to go. Round 11. This tournament is already, well, we already know who took first. Lion Beast MVL is still perfect. 10 out of 10. A point and a half ahead of Hikaru. Wow. Okay, so once again have this opening. The one where he ended up losing the light square bishop. And somehow managed to come back. Okay. Same story here. Queen d6 again this time around, or knight here? Okay. Not so fast with queen d6. Don't lose your light square bishop this time. Okay. Gets out of the pin. Two pins here. Were two pins. Out of the one. Still same story here. I'm repeating myself. Queenside castles, knight f7. a6, we saw this before. Okay, first the chop, another chop. Castles, and then put the rook here. Maintain a piece on this square, although... He's looking at this advance. Maybe knight a4 into c5. Although knight a4, queen... Okay, knight a4, queen check. There is c3. Defending the knight. Attacking the queen. b2 is defended. In that variation. So is he going to allow this advance? The check. Okay, he's going with knight a4. Working on these two holes. This is what these knights want. Just want a weakness. An outpost. I like white's position. Very good knight. Very healthy structure. This is not a threat. Knight has that covered. B3 it is. Getting the queen here, jumping in. I mean, you could already think about jumping in, but the queen on this square would support the knight. Even if there's bishop takes, you want to recapture with the queen. Very strong grip white has over the dark squares. Quick glance at this position. These are the two that light up in my mind. E5, C5. How do you make progress? I mean, flick in a flight square. You challenge the knight. I think it's reinforced straight away. Want to recapture with the piece. So rookie one. No, he's going with the pawn. So, hmm. He is giving up a square. White is. Bishop here. So, you know, the knight, the knight could cover it. I think he's 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 eyeing up an exchange sacrifice. That's really the only idea behind rook here. 
it's trying to play with maybe some uh, some pawns in the center because it could be like knight here. Keep in mind you're you're taking with check. There's no time for a follow up fork. Uh, that is the only idea that I could see. So I think white is wise to not jump in straight away. Okay, white is in the tank. Not so quick to take this knight. C3, playing it slow. Okay, oh, actually, yeah, okay, bishop, bishop b4. There is no longer knight c3 with c3 in there. This also cuts off the queen from being the recapture, uh, the recapturing piece, but this is all sort of clumsy here. The rook... Having to watch over the knight here. Okay, also the queen. The queen move is now supporting this knight jump in here. Look at these pieces. Fantastic play here by white. Bishop is hit. Structure is wonderful here for white. Okay, there is the exchange still. Knight could take the pawn and then get here. Probably want to give the exchange back. Get rid of this guy. Knight is currently hit. Under a minute for white. Okay. Continues to press. This opens up a square as well for the queen. Maybe the queen wants to get to f5. White could consider pushing pawns. a4, b4. Start running with the a pawn. First, centralization. Maybe looking to... Get rid of this guy. Ah, he's getting something here. Now get rid of this guy. I think that's a clean approach. Don't hang this rook. Okay, out of the line of fire. This is hit twice, defended a lot. Here, I think, well, let's see. It's a scary piece. Yeah, no matter where you go, if, if this king is trying to walk on the queen side, this guy is still irritating. Okay, looking at this strong post right here on e5, 50 seconds for Carlson, under 30 for white. Okay, restriction on the rook. How do you make progress? White's holding all the important squares. Is this king going to go for the walk? He's going for the walk. Okay, we do have this break now. H2, H2, under 20 for white. Oh boy, king is uncastled. <laughs> he was once castled, now he's back to uncastled. Queen H2, rook here. Where do we go? Rook G3, I did not even see that. To watch over H4, queen has it, the diagonal's covered. Rook takes pawn, rook takes pawn. This is maybe going to fall. Rook takes pawn here. Oh, the... Oh, what a move. Is that actually working? We're going to have some perpetual? He's blocking with the pawn. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to lead to mate. Oh, what a finish. This one's leading to mate. Oh, queen here takes, rook here takes again. Wow. He pulled that one off. Okay, what an event here. So that puts him final tally there. Eight and a half out of 11. There were some really impressive games. MVL in the end did not go perfect. There it is. Top three, Lion Beast First, 10 out of 11. Caro, 9.5 out of 11. Daniel Darda, 9.5 out of 11. Carlson finished in the number 9 spot. 8.5 out of 11. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. This one was a lot of fun. That's all for now. Take care.